Hello students, I am Himanshu and uh, in this video as I have told you I am going to cover the cell related properties or the range related properties. So for this I am considering one blank sheet this one. Here I want to simply type name and here age and in this particular cell which is C1 I want to type salary. So how to do that? So for this, um, there is one important aspect that how to write a comment into programming. This is very simple. Just give a single quotation. Start with the single quotation. You need not to end this and type the comment which you want to. Like I have typing methods. Okay. So you can see here the color has been changed in green and this is an indication actually that uh, uh, you have written a comment comment is not going to execute this is just a comment it's uh, in order to help the and uh, the programmer basically many times what happens when you write a program it is very lengthy and uh, in order to make things easy for uh, yourself only you write comments that which portion um, is taking care of which particular programming so this is what comment is and here I'm using the comment in order to make you understand so methods to refer to range or cell so the for there are three uh, prominent method the first uh, method is a range method so here if I will go to this Excel sheet you can see here in a1 a range I want to type name so how to do that again I am making use of the suggestion control and spacebar start typing a range okay start the bracket in the quotation type give it give the cell name which is a1 close the bracket and then dot activate range I have given the range which is a1 close the bracket and dot activate I am going to activate a1 cell then I'm going to type active cell dot value equal to name okay so first of all um, let me show you what it's going to do so I'm going to minimize this so that uh, you can see this okay uh, yesterday I have told you that we can run a program line wise uh, with the help of F8 key so I am going to press F8 so you can see each one of this line what particular task they are executing so function key and F8 A1 is going to be activated the moment um, this particular line has been executed you can see that A1 cell has been activated and the second line is active cell dot value equal to name means whatever is the active cell in that we want the value to be name so it will perform this task and you can see here so very simple one this is how it can need to be done now coming to the second method second method uh, I want to refer to this particular which is B1 now you can see the row index the row number is 1 of this particular cell and the column index is 2 so that need to be keep in mind so second method is a sales method in sales method you can see the first parameter is a row index and uh, for b1 the row index is 1 and column index which is b which is column number 2 so it's going to be 2 dot activate and then active cell dot value i want to write let's say h Okay. now the third part is going to be um, the third method is a very simple one and we are going to uh, make use of a square bracket in this so I want to do the selection of this particular cell which is C1 so I can write like this simply square bracket C1 dot activate active cell dot value equal to salary
now there there can be one question that whenever we want to type anything in a cell do we need to select it or do we need to activate it all the time no it's not required at all i have written this particular command in order to make you understand uh, what are active cell command or uh, uh, how to activate one particular cell without even activating a cell you can type a value into that and for that matter you can use any of these three method let's say in d1 cell i want to type bonus here i want to type bonus so for that i am using a range method range d1 i need not to activate this dot value equal to bonus that's it so now i'm going to minimize this and we are going to see that each of this line um, performing which particular task so function key f8 you can see the range a1 is going to be activated and the value is going to be named now the second method uh, need to select b1 cell because the row index is 1 and column index is 2 so it's going to select that one and the value is going to be insert is h now c1 is cell going to be activated and uh, the value that has been given is salary now d1 is not going to be activated but the value is going to be bonus so these are various methods to refer to a cell or range there are many other properties which need to be understand and that we are going to understand in the next video thank you for watching have a nice day